This is how I met my brother. Good afternoon, Mr. Jacob. Good afternoon, listeners, or morning, or night, whenever you may be listening to this. This is How I Met My Brother podcast with Jacob Cody and Jeff Warchalik. I hope all is well. Jake, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing fantastic, Jeff. I, uh, you know, it's a Monday. I had a pretty chill day, and now I'm now I'm here with my good friend doing the thing that we love. I'm just happy now that it's not raining today because it was supposed to. Did you hear that there was like a tornado warning for Wyndham County? Yes, I did see that, and it is surprising that it's the pod day and it's <laughs> you not driving in the rain. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, what do you got for me? Anyhow? All right, so I think we should talk about what's coming up this weekend. Oh, it is an exciting weekend. First and foremost, I'm so hyped. This weekend is Jeff's bachelor party. It is. And I'm just, you know, I planned the whole thing. You did. And you did with the job. help of Jeff's mm-hmm. little brother, Norman. Yep. Uh, that's pretty much it. None of your other groomsmen really helped out. <laughs> they so were just I'm, like, I'm yep, putting them on blast good. right now. Actually, David David Jr., who is a regular on the pod that we talk about. <laughs> we literally every episode. Uh, he, he, helped, he helped some, too. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. You, uh, you don't really know what's going on. I don't. I know one, maybe two things. I have no idea where we're going. Uh, I know that it's starting off Friday, morning-ish, midday-ish. Um... And I know we're playing golf, so of course I'm stoked for that. Uh, I couldn't be more excited. I just, you know, I'm looking forward to a good, you know, probably pretty low key weekend with my boys. Hang out, whole lot of testosterone in the building. You know, I like that. You gotta get, you gotta get it with the boys. You yeah, gotta. yeah. The uh, the golf situation is pretty cool because I booked a tee time and you won't know where we're going. Mm. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blindfold you uh, and shove you in my trunk and <laughs> drive you there. Um, and you won't even know what time of day it is because we're gonna, we're gonna actually kidnap you at a random time in the morning. So you could be asleep or wide awake grabbing your coffee, and all of a sudden, boom, darkness. Well, you better hope my gun's not next to me. Oh, trust me, we <laughs> we, we got it planned out, buddy. <laughs> no, no, but I am uh, beyond stoked. Yeah, it's it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good time. And uh, as I was booking and planning, I thought about bachelor parties that I've done in the past and I thought of this story that I don't think I've ever told you yeah. and so I wanted to I wanted to share some with you, you know? mm-hmm. so in college my freshman year roommate my boy Ben uh, he asked me to be a groom uh, groomsman in his wedding and his best man Logan was like oh man like we're gonna do a little bachelor weekend pretty low key just kind of like this one but it's just one day mm-hmm. uh, and he was like we're gonna rent a, a pontoon boat and we're gonna go out it's going to be a fantastic day. And, you know, we're all college. We're all college age at this time. I think I was a junior in yeah. college. Uh, maybe, no, actually it was my senior year. Mm-hmm. And it was on a Saturday. And so we're all hyped. We're all grabbing our stuff. We go for, like, we go out for lunch. We grab, we get some good, I think we got uh, barbecue. So it was a good barbecue on a hot day. It was nice. We get to the boat place. We're all standing there. We're all hyped to get on this boat, have a good time. And, uh... The guy comes up to us, he's like, all right, I got some safety things to go over, yada, yada, yada. Sure. And uh, he's like, all right, which one of you has uh, their boating license? <laughs> and uh, I I just figured that the best man, Logan, did. Yeah. And so I looked at him, and I could just tell he was like, oh, no. He had no idea about it. Like, he's <laughs> like, and you could tell everybody's head was churning. And you, you know me, I'm pretty fast on my feet. Yep, that's So true. I just jumped out. I was like, I was like, oh, that's me. I got the boating license, <laughs> and uh, I was like, but I don't have it on me, and he was like, he was just like, okay, and he just throws me the keys. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm like, and like, he goes over all these like rules, like you can't, like, there's like a no wake zone, you know, mm-hmm. like, the classic boating things, and he just like, but as soon as I said it was me, he like looked at me, and at first, like, you know, that one second of like fear where he's going to be like, let me see it. That's what yeah, I thought, and I was like, and I was just gonna have to talk my way out of it. I had this whole plan. I was gonna be like, oh, you know, I I thought it was in my wallet, but I I lost my wallet last week, and I live in Connecticut, so I really, you know. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, oh man, 
maybe a Connecticut boating license is different than a Virginia boating That's license. That's a good point, yeah. So then I was going through all this stuff, and then all of a sudden, he, like, he looked at me. And this all happened in, like, a split second. And he just tossed me the keys. And I caught him, and I was like, <clears throat> I was like, let's get out of here real quick. <laughs> he had to have known. Dude, I don't, I don't know. Do you think he would let, give me the boat? Do you think he would care? Yeah, see, that's a, that's a good point. I mean, he wasn't like he wasn't like the old man that owns it. Yeah, he was just like a, a he's probably a couple years older than us. Okay, yeah. So you could be right, but I just thought it was so funny because I was like, I don't know, I just driving this thing probably illegally. Yeah, that, no, that's really funny. Just the, I'm sure he could see the the panic on everybody's face at that moment. Oh, it was, like, and I think he chose to just let it go. Hey, well, shout out to that guy if he did, because, <laughs> but I, when I tell you, it was like a split second, like, I, I like, slow motion, like, looked over, and I was like, I could see his face start to drop, and yeah. then immediately my mouth was just like, it's me, <laughs> you know, like, in slow motion, Yeah, yeah. and, uh, yeah, but it worked out, we had a good time, I drove the boat, I never drove a boat before. Well, I was just gonna say, so if nobody had their boating license, how did you know how to drive the boat oh, i you, would have no idea you just go for it bro i don't know i full said <laughs> but <laughs> i don't know i've ridden jet skis and i've been in boats when other people well i've driven a boat for like you know just a like five minutes maybe when we we're out on the open water and you didn't there was nothing to be scared of or <clears throat> nothing to hit or anything yeah <laughs> but I mean, like the the margin of error i feel like is so small like when you're pulling the boat in and out it's like if you break or whatever they call it too early or too late or turn too early or too late i feel like you're screwed uh i mean you just gotta go for it you know and that's what i did bro i put the keys in i was like i don't even know if this is how you start a boat and i just went for it and it turned over and it worked oh it turned over i put it into uh swim or whatever yeah what do you what is it drive i don't know (laughs) swim (laughs) that uh, that one went over my head for a split second and then I got it. That's not not too shabby, not too bad. Uh, yeah, but then uh, then I made everybody call me captain after Did because you? you know I was I was the captain of the boat. Mm-hmm. But it, no no problems. Uh, I think I maybe like hit the dock when I was parking it mm-hmm. a little bit. But uh, there's like those like buoy things that yeah, kind of like, soften the blow yeah so it wasn't that bad but i did i think i did a pretty good job i just went for it you know sometimes you just got to live life on the edge well considering everyone's alive and you didn't drown like sink the boat i think you're i think you did a great job hey thanks man i appreciate that i've actually only been on uh one bachelor party before and we did not have any any boats it was david's actually david jr's bachelor party last year shout out to david <laughs> jr baby <laughs> Oh, uh, we went to Foxwoods, had a great time, <clears throat> nothing too crazy, just a good good night with uh, with him and his friends and whatnot, had a nice evening out on the, that must have been uh, the Mash and Tucket town there, Hello. you know. Mash and, good old Mash and Tucket. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, his friends are, his friends are uh, great guys, it, it was, so it was a good time, but. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I like David Jr. So, um. Speaking of wedding things and bachelor parties and all that, I have a short story to share. Oh. So, <clears throat> Jess and I went back to Brilliant Earth in Boston. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to, so, we were already there to, one, look at her wedding band. Um, I purchased the engagement ring a while ago from there. Got it in, proposed all that. Then you're supposed to go look at wedding bands together, find out what she likes and all that. So, we did that. Ordered it. And it just came in, like, this week. So, uh, just the other day, we went to Brilliant Earth um, to have her try it on, get it fitted, make sure it fits right. And then they're shipping it back out to get engraved. Because we're doing, like... Oh, so you didn't even get it? No. We tried Uh, it on and gave it right back. (laughs) Oh, man. So, we're getting... An eventful trip to Boston. Yeah, it was a good time. (laughs) But, anyway, so... <clears throat> this place is on Newberry Street in Boston. It's in like a loft up on the sixth floor somewhere, um, towards like the park area of Newberry Street. Do and you have to? Be, sorry. No, go, go, go. Do you have to like go up to like? You've seen Uncut Gems. I haven't. I've I've wanted to watch that. Though. You know they filmed that at Mohegan Sun. Did they? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead. I uh. I just I've wondered like, 
when you go to a place like that, do you have to like go up to the door and the camera sees you and they're like they like buzz you in? Yes, actually, that's really? exactly the one. Yeah. Oh man, that's you must have felt like you were like uh, in the mob or something. You know, you feel kind of rich. Yeah. Shy. Of- <laughs> yeah, especially when they let you in. Like if you, they don't let you in, then yeah. you're kind of like not. But <laughs> yeah. Hello, sir and madam. How can I help you today? Yeah. It's appointment only and all that. Um, but like the foyer, when you first walk in there, it's like a small little waiting room. They have the front desk for reception, then like four chairs. Um, a really small room. So we get in there and we have an appointment, but we have to wait a while. Um, and over the course of the day, like our appointment was at two thirty, we didn't get out of there till about three fifteen. <clears throat> so it took a while. But as we were in there, tons of couples came in. Like. Probably ten pairs of couples came in, um, and we were being helped right there at the front desk. So there became quite the backup, the backlog of people. There were probably, uh, I mean, she would help some people right away and say, do you have an appointment? They say no. She says, sorry, you need to make an appointment, whatever, they leave. But um, while we were there, at one point, there were probably four or five couples in there waiting in a really, really small room. Really quiet room, too. No background music or anything like that. It's just basically Jess and I talking to the jeweler or manager or whatever she is. And then the other couples being dead silent. (laughs) You know, And you know Jess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. You know what would be perfect for that situation? What? I just picture... I I would think it'd be hilarious if, like, you're in this small room with, Mm -hmm. you know, eight other people. Mm -hmm. And you just... You, like, airdrop some, like weird picture mm-hmm. to someone that's that's on airdrop there i've been wanting to do that yeah yes. that's like a classic uh, that's a perfect situation because you're like you said it's dead silent mm-hmm. you're in a small room and if it's something funny like then you know who did it because they're gonna like be like they're either gonna be like what is this <laughs> or they're gonna start laughing and then especially if you did like if you took a picture of them then they don't know if like to confront you yeah, or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. i think that'd be that'd be brilliant yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh, that I'd like to do that in like a line at an amu- amusement park or something like that Mickey Mouse one you sent me. Yeah. Like where it's like Mickey, Donald, Goofy in a <laughs> field that's burning down, yeah. in black and white. I think that would be oh, hilarious. But anyway, so um, we're getting helped at the counter, <clears throat> and they took the wedding band back, and then Jess also wanted to get her engagement ring resized. So I took it off. Um, she gave it to the jeweler. Like I said, you could hear an absolute pin drop in this place. Yeah. So as soon as she took it off, she's like, and I don't want to make her sound bad, but she's wonderful and anyone that knows Jess knows that this was just a joke. Yeah. And nothing would ever happen like this, obviously. So she's she's wonderful. Just a, just a joke. But <laughs> <laughs> we're in there. Total silence. She takes her ring off. And for everyone to hear, she says... Ooh, I'm single on your bachelor weekend. <laughs> and I was like, honey, please. It's so quiet in here. And she's like, what? Yeah, I can picture that exactly, too. It's such a joke. And I'm like, no, but these people don't know you like I do. They don't know that's a, that's a joke. It's in public. It's embarrassing. Oh, that's, and, that's funny. Yeah. And I was afterwards, I was like, why would you say that so loud in front of everyone? She was like, I meant for it just to be just to you. I, she said, uh, I meant f- just to say it to you, but sometimes I talk a little loud. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I know I know you talk a little loud. Yeah, so we definitely know that. That was embarrassing, but I don't want to make her sound bad. She that's was great. She would that's never funny, do anything. Though. But it was really funny and super awkward because no one laughed. Yeah. No, no. That, and that's like the best part about it. Yeah. It's like everybody was probably just like. Yikes. Yeah, the, these yeah. guys are not going to make it to the wedding. <laughs> Oh man! What did the, did the like the jeweler hear that? Yeah, but she didn't say anything. Okay, because no one knew it was a joke. That's the worst. The uh, ju- because like the people, obviously, they're probably trying to like not eavesdrop. Yeah. But the so, jeweler's like right there. They're probably like, um, okay. yeah, okay. Literally, from me to you is the jeweler. Oh, that's funny. And she just ignores it, and I'm like, oh my god. That is something I would probably say too, though. Yeah, you you would because you yeah. and her are similar, and yeah. my brother Norm, and actually her father. So I was telling yeah. the story to her parents yesterday. And the, yo, he probably thought it was hilarious. Yeah, he thought it was funny, and I was like, "No, this 
like kind of embarrassing. I mean, of course it's funny. I'm like not yeah. mad about it or anything. Like it's a joke. Yeah, I yeah, can take yeah. the joke. And then her mom said something very profound. She was like, I don't remember exactly how it went, but she was like, Jeff, you know that Jess is like her father, and I've dealt with this for 30 years. <laughs> He's going to say things that other people aren't supposed to hear, but they're going to hear anyway, and it's supposed to be funny, but it's not. So if you can't, you can't get out of it now over that because you've been with her for five years. And I was like, yeah, I'm not trying to get out of it. I'm just saying it's embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, that like, is profound. Oh my gosh. She well, knows exactly she said it how you feel. much more poetic. But yeah, yeah she gets it because she's she not like that. You get, yeah, you guys will bond over that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, her and her dad are just big jokesters like you. Yeah, I like a good joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I do love going up there. Although, yeah, mm-hmm. into Boston, you mean? Yeah, that's a good time. Mm-hmm. Speaking of jokesters, do you want to hear something just? Man, like, so, this is just something that, like, is is funny looking back at it, but in yeah. the moment, I was, like, so, like, weirded out by it. Mm-hmm. So, I haven't been, I haven't gotten, like, a, I don't usually don't like to go to the doctors. I know, yes. Yeah, so you know that. And, uh, I just don't like it, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but, a couple, well, actually, in the past couple of years, I have gone to get my physical, like, once or twice, maybe, because I used to get a gift card for doing it. <laughs> Are you kidding <laughs> from me? From my insurance. My insurance company would be like, go to get your physical and get a $200 gift card. So I was like, heck what? yeah. Who's your insurance provider? Uh, it was my old one. It was uh, Blue Cross, I think. They never offered me a gift card to go to the doctor. Yeah, dude, maybe They knew that you're... you're, you're <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> they knew yeah, that you'd go anyway. <laughs> they, yeah, I know. <laughs> They knew your track record and was like, oh, man, this guy, he needs to go to the doctor so he can get some preventative uh, preventative medicine there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I usually don't go, but this is years ago. I think I maybe I was on maybe right before college or yeah. like in the middle of college when I came back on a break. Mm-hmm. But I had a doctor's appointment on Halloween. Okay. So, <laughs> I could so imagine. You, so you can imagine what the office looks like. And my doctor's office, they all oh, dress man. up, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's weird enough, bro, when you have a doctor, like, feeling you up. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to put it out there. Like it's, That's not your favorite part? No. Oh, no. Oh, really? Yeah, shut up. Oh, jeez. Reaction. <laughs> I hate I'm just you, kidding. Oh, I we start. Yeah, we, yeah we, let's, let's, let's dial it back, all right? <laughs> So you, uh, so it's. <laughs> you went to the doctor on Halloween. Yeah. All right. It's Halloween. It's weird enough. Whatever. Then, so I'm thinking about that because that's all I think about. I'm just I get so nervous because I hate it. Oh really? It, it just, oh jeez. Like I anything even... that they have to do in the in the. That's why I don't like getting them. It's just their job, man. Like from like doing that to mm-hmm. like the they used to like prick my finger for like. The blood test or whatever. I don't know. I hated it all. Like, even when they put the sleeve on you and they're like... Oh, blood pressure, you mean? Oh, I hate it, bro. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> You're such a dude, little I, baby. Dude, I hate it, bro. <laughs> it's fine. Did I hate it. So, anyways, I'm already nervous enough because I just don't like it. Yeah. Then comes, walks in, my six foot, like, three doctor. <laughs> and he's in a full wizard's <laughs> gown. <laughs> Dude has a purple starred wizard's gown with this wizard hat, and he oh walks in with a wand. And I'm like, what? And it just, like, threw me so off guard because, like, the, the people in the front, like, they're dressed up. They have, like, cat ears on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, but, like, regular clothes. Yeah. This dude's in a full gown. Did he have face paint on? No, no face paint, but he just, like, <laughs> just has the whole gown with the hat and the, oh and the one, and I'm gosh. like, what? And then he, like, comes in, and he's, like, he's, like, waving his wand around, he's like, oh, magical, and I'm like, <laughs> what is going on, bro? And then he straight up is like, he's like, all right, uh, get undressed, and I'm like, bro, what? Abracadabra, yeah. off with your clothes. <laughs> Dude, it was, it was wild. I was like, okay, this makes me even more nervous. So then I had to, like, undress, mm. and, like... They check you up and everything like that, and I'm just getting, like, felt up by a wizard. <laughs> and, like, it's just... I was just like, dude, what is my life right now? This yeah, is so weird. That's really funny. Yeah. I've never... I just never had good experiences. Just, like, weird experience like that. And then, 
one time, this is a little embarrassing on my end. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I, I hadn't gone to the doctors. This is actually one of the ones where I went, where I got the gift card. I hadn't mm-hmm. been to the doctor since, since that last wizard time. Yeah. And then I, they offered me the gift card and I was like, all right, I'm going to get my physical. So I went in and they're like, oh, they're like, here's a gown or what, is, what, what is it called? A Jimmy? A Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Big, uh, good old Johnny. Yeah. They, they gave me a Johnny and, uh, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, I forgot how to put this thing on. So I, I, <laughs> I get, I dress down, you know, I take off my clothes except my underwear and, uh. I put this gown on, but I put it on like a robe. Oh, jeez. And so I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like trying to find the button. I'm like, yo, why is this not like buttoning up? Or like, is there like a zipper on this? Yeah. Like, am I just gonna, so I just like pulled it over and I was like, I had my legs crossed and I just like put this yeah. over. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like sitting there like mm-hmm. this. And the doctor like walks in <laughs> and he's like, he, he's like, looks at me weird. And he's yeah. like, but he doesn't say anything. And he's just going through the questions like, oh, like, you know. Have you smoked in the last six months? Like, sure. how's your health? Like, you know, are you eating? Like, all that kind of doctor stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm just chilling there like this, like, all uncomfortable. I'm like, oh, no, no smoking, you know. And then, like, it dawned on me. For some reason, I just pictured how it's supposed to be, which is the other way. Yeah. Where, like, you put it on and then the back side, sh- the back side is showing. Yeah. And I'm just like, I sit there and I'm like, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> And I, but I ha- but I couldn't like he's in here now so I can't just be like hey hold on yeah, and just like, like take it off and then like put it on so I'm just sitting there like an idiot the whole time with this thing like I'm like, wearing like a robe in front of my doctor I mean I'm sure that's a common mistake but I'd like to know what went through your know. head because obviously like you don't want to know what when you in my head bro well yeah that's true <laughs> when you wear it like a robe like that like all the important things are exactly where the robe opens up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, it doesn't cover any of the things that it's supposed to cover. Yeah. So, what were you thinking? I don't... I don't <laughs> you know, I just don't know, dude. I just, like, got it, and I looked at it, and I was like... Yeah. Fair enough. Like a shirt. Like a button-up shirt. Put it, I get it. <laughs> and then I literally thought it, like, I must have... I don't know why, after I looked for, like, buttons and stuff to close it, I wasn't, like... oh, Or, like... There's no rope to, like, tie it close. Yeah. I, was, I don't know why I wasn't like, oh, I should probably put this on backwards. Mm. There should be a rope to tie it off, though. That would make more sense. Uh, it was embarrassing. But I wanted you to know that. <laughs> yeah. That, but I just never have good experience in the... Just never go, you know? Yeah, no, that's fair. I haven't I, been in a while, either. You should go, though. I don't know, man. Especially as we age. As we get older, it's important to go to the doctor. As I get older, I get stronger. I don't think that's true. You seen your arms lately? No, I'm just kidding. The pythons? The pythons, yeah. <laughs> yep, the, uh... Oh, man. The pythons. Yeah. No, you look good, though. I don't, I don't mean to... No, I, I hope that doesn't keep you up at night. No, I mean, it, it will. It will. Lately. No, it's for sure. It's gonna keep... I'm gonna be like, man, I, I'm not... Actually, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lay awake at night. I'm gonna lift. <laughs> I'm just gonna lift all night until, <laughs> you, until you look at me and be like, man, your arms. Those little 10-pound dumbbells in your office. Huge. <laughs> Those little ten. All right, they're thirties. Let's get that straight on the video. Are they thirties? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'm gonna lift right after this, bro. I don't care. <laughs> no, you're not. All my plans are out the window. I'm going. I'm. Sh- I'm just gonna grind all day. No, it's to be fair. I haven't been to the gym in about a week, and I was going real hard, like from the end of December until the end, middle of probably middle of June. I was going five or six days a week, like religiously. Taking my creatine, taking my that. protein. I, that. I was going pretty religiously for a while. Mm. And then I hurt my thumb, and then I just used, <laughs> I've been using that as an excuse for a while. Mm. It's totally healed. It's been healed for like a month. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, um, I'll get back to it. My problem with the gym is like, when I'm trying to bulk up, it's like, oh, I need to eat as much as I can because I need to get oh, bulk like, big. For sure. I need to get big, you know? Yeah. No, I get like it. anything. So I'll eat like seven or eight slices of pizza like a monster. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best way. Well, yeah, you know, I don't think it is either. <laughs> but I'm just saying that's my issue. So over the course of the last couple of years, it was always bulking season. And now I'm 40 pounds. <laughs> not 40 pounds. Like 30, 25, 30 <laughs> pounds heavier. I'm than like 70 I was pounds heavier. <laughs> when I looked good. 
So I need to uh, rein that back in. But you know what it is? Though? Like, honestly, it's like... It's more than just that, though. It's like, I don't know. I'm just an overeater. I'm like an emotional eater. Yeah. So, like, I eat to heal mental wounds and emotional wounds. <laughs> not to get too deep. It's, all, it's getting <laughs> deep right now, bro. But, like, <clears throat> if I'm just not feeling great, like, about myself or about, like, anything, it's like I eat and it makes me feel better for, like, a second. And then, obviously, you feel worse. So yeah. it's not a good way to go about it, but... So, no. I mean, there's tons of issues with my eating habits. Yeah. No, I uh, <laughs> I feel you. I get a... Uh, especially now that... Well, in the, it's like the middle of the summer, mm-hmm. and you're just always... At least I've been, I've been like, always going the last couple of weeks. You've been super busy. I've been going crazy. And so, like, on the go, I'm just, like, eating. It's not always great food. I know. And mm-hmm. I haven't been to the gym, so it's like, you know, I'm slowly gaining weight back. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, I need to... I need to get back and you know what I miss. Mm. Let me tell you. So I I used, I went I go to the, well I still go but I haven't been in a while. But I go to this gym in Webster, mm-hmm. Max Fitness. You should change your gym. I know I'm I'm going to. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to. Right. Yeah. Anyways, I, okay. <laughs> I go to this gym and it's called Max Fitness in Webster. And there's this one dude that would work out. I don't know if he ever left the gym. Didn't yeah. look like he did. But he was this huge, jacked black dude. Yeah. Just, and you know, those guys are kind of intimidating because they're just like, how, how, how are you this? I mean. Like, like, almost bigger than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Like, that's how (laughs) big this guy is. Yeah, there's some big dudes out there. And uh, I miss him. (laughs) You know? I, uh, because you know why? Because, you know, that guy could look at me. And he could just look at me in disappointment and be like, this little, this little squirt. <laughs> this little squirt, he can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I couldn't do a thing about it. Mm-hmm. I'd have to be like, this guy's right. I'm a squirt. And you missed that? No, no, no. Let me, let me finish. Okay. All right. So he could do that. And instead, he always, not always, but when I'm doing, like, I'll be doing curls or, like, tricep, uh, yeah, tricep extensions. extensions mm-hmm. And he'll come over to me and he's like, he'll be like, hey, man, like great form you're killing it king and i'm like i'm (laughs) like dude this freaking guy (laughs) this freaking guy is the reason that i come here he calls you king oh he called every once in a while it's not an everyday occurrence that's fair i don't want to you know i can't lie yeah but when he does i'm like like i'll go from like doing tricep extension i'm like i'm like yeah (laughs) and i'm like dude this guy oh man i love this man you're really feeling yourself but he, it's not even like we make eye contact and he's like, he's like talking to me. Like he just walks over mm. and he's like, he's like, I just want you to know that you're working hard. Mm. And I'm like, this guy. This guy. Um, I love guys like that. Yeah. I, I, it's only been like, like I said, like a week, probably a week and a half more so that I haven't been to the gym and I already miss my, my morning crew. Not that we talked yeah. or anything. It's just like no. being in the presence. Yeah, and that was so like, like that was the only words I've ever said to this dude. <laughs> well, he really said it to me, and I would just be like, "Hey, thanks, man." Like, yeah. Sometimes I throw a joke back. I'd be like, mm. "Like, I'd be like, yeah, maybe one day you'll get to be like me." That. Would... <laughs> and he's like, and he would just be like, ha, 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 ha. and yeah. like as soon as he hits his like thigh, like thunders, like <laughs> he was huge, bro. He would, yeah, he could have destroyed I, me. I bet that. Kind of ate that guy up inside, though, even though it was a joke. Like, if I was, you know, 250, lean and jacked out of my mind, if some little squirt like you <laughs> said that to me... <laughs> Man, I ain't gonna have to grind today, bro. I'm, then I'd, I'd be thinking I'm about you during every rep. It's like, oh, this guy can't say that to me. Well, that's that's the that's the side of the picture, you know. I'm, it's the funny. The picture? But <laughs> what? That's what? There's two sides. I meant to say there's two sides of that picture. Yeah. So one being, you know, I did it because it's funny and he laughed and we have a good joke. But also if that is that, Mm -hmm. then I just pushed him to get even stronger. It's true. So really you're a hero. I'm in his corner, Mm. you know? No, it's true. I'm sure he doesn't take it like that. Oh, no. You know, he actually genuinely laughed and he would just, like sometimes he'd even like do a little bit of like, (laughs) yeah. but I'd like. I'd be so, like, like he barely touched me. I'd be like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> have but, you uh, have you ever saved or been saved by somebody at the gym? Like, um, lifting awkwardly, I kind of saved someone, but then he like was not happy about it. Oh, ooh, yeah, it was. Ooh, uh, that's like, dude, you broke gym bro code. Dude, no, listen, listen. 
I did so like I'm like it's actually funny. I was actually doing tricep ex, uh, extensions. Yeah. I'm at there's this one machine and like it's like right next to the benches. Mm -hmm. There's three benches at my gym, and this guy was benching, mm -hmm. and like I saw that he was like he was really pushing himself. Yeah. And he just kept putting on more weight, and you could tell his arms were getting shaky and he was putting up, but he was still doing it. And uh, so I kept an eye on him. You know, I don't want anybody to not on my watch. You know, Fair. I'm, I'm yes. a hero. We've mm -hmm. talked about this last episode. And uh, so I'm keeping an eye on him. I'm going, doing my reps, and uh, he was taking it was taking him a little too long to put it up. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh man, should I like, do I jump in? Yeah. And so like, but and he held it there for a while, and I was like, there's no way, that, like he's gonna get this up. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he would have either way. Yeah. But I went over there. Maybe I helped too soon. And I went over there and I like, grabbed it and I like just pushed it a little bit. And he like finished it. And he's like, he wasn't like ticked off. But he was just like, he's like, he's like, oh, I had it, man. Like, I got it. And I was just like, I was like, oh, sorry, bro. I just didn't want, you, I didn't want the bar to fall on you or anything. Yeah. And I tried to make it sound like as much of like a, me helping instead of me mm -hmm. being like, oh, I saw that you were weak over here. <laughs> you know? Uh, but yeah, he wasn't very happy. And then like, he like, every time he like, before he like got back down to bench, he'd like look over at me and then just be like. <laughs> and then like go down and go for it and I was like alright dude I'll just let you die next time <laughs> <laughs> like alright oh man uh, have you probably yes I've had both uh, circumstances oh happen. yeah so one of them was a while ago and one was more recent I'll start with being saved so uh, back when I was in college uh, my good friend and uh, Cam we lifted together a lot. I lifted a lot with uh, with Cam, with Ricky, uh, Chris sometimes. Tricky Ricky. Tricky Ricky, yep. Um, Cam, obviously you've met Cam. Um, yes. But you probably haven't seen him in a while. He's a huge guy. He's yeah, really, really strong. We played football together uh, there. Um, and we were squatting one time. I had like, I don't know, probably 315 on the squat bar. Oh, okay, Big boy over here. Ah, uh, it's not. It's not great. It's I, right. I'm hesitant to even say the number on the pod. Not great. It's but all not right. bad. It's alright. I respect it. Um, I was going for I believe five reps of that squatting. Uh, Cam was spotting me. I was going down for either the third or fourth rep. I don't remember. And I get to the bottom of the squat and I'm like, I can't do this. Game over. <laughs> Game over. I was just like struggling and start shaking everything. Cam, um ripped the bar off my back like uh, the Hulk I threw it down and, and he, saved my life he ripped it off and just started like doing like like <laughs> shoulder presses he was just like <laughs> yeah. he would too he's huge he, he he could probably get pretty close to doing that so uh, he saved me that day which was which was good because squatting you never want to fail in a back squat but I, I had the yeah that would hurt um, safety racks up anyway so I would have been fine but still yeah. uh, he saved me and then recently uh, at my gym that I go to now, probably a month ago, month and a half ago, maybe, um, I was doing mm, dumbbell presses, uh, and then, like, there's a mirror that you face when you do those on the bench, and then behind you, you can see the regular barbell bench press, bench presses, uh -huh. um, so I'm, like, looking in the mirror, and, um, I can see behind me, obviously, so I see that guy, uh, guy over there. He has like probably two, uh, I want to say 245 on the bar. And the first set he did, I was like, ooh, man, he kind of got that up. But he was like really struggling. Yeah. And then, you know, a few minutes later, I see him go back to it and try to do it again. And I'm like, mm, I don't feel too good about this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get, you get that feeling. Yeah, so I'm, like, keeping an eye on him, uh, like you said, because you never want to see anybody get hurt. Um, and he went down, tried to get it up for one, and he couldn't. It was just on his, like, right up here, close to his neck, um, but not, not on his throat or anything, so he could still breathe. But he's, like, trying to get it up and shake yeah. it and everything, and he's just, like, he starts to look around. Like in a that's panic. Got, that's gotta be like one of the most like not in a bad way. Like I don't yeah. want to like trash this guy, but it's gotta yeah. be one of the most embarrassing things. Like you're at the gym yeah. and you just feel like, oh man, like, because you don't want to, because you don't want to be there and be like, help, 
Yeah, exactly. Because oh, then you just like you feel like a loser, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. But you need it because then yeah. you, you would die. <laughs> yeah, there's no way out of it, especially with that kind of weight, you know? Uh, um, anything over like a plate on yeah. each side for uh, bench press, it's not good. Um, and he's, he's looking around, so I'm like, all right, well, I need to do something now. So I, you know, I do a fast paced walk. Because I don't want to alarm anyone. I don't want to just start sprinting. Yeah. And I get over there, <laughs> and I, I pull it up, and he's, like, not helping me. So I'm like, mm, this is a lot <laughs> trying to get up by myself, man. <laughs> and then you start, I'm like, then oh, another man, guy I'm comes gonna... over, and you're all just like, <laughs> I, I'm going to need a spotter. <laughs> uh, but I get the it up. The spotter for the spotter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get it up, and he's, like, super thankful and everything, so that was nice. He's like... <laughs> This is the where, and I might have done the same thing, but he's like, "Oh man, yeah, oh, I I did this yesterday too. And I don't know why I tried to do it back to back days. It's just you know, yeah, like yeah. making excuses. I've been doing this for I've been doing this for seven days straight. <laughs> Higher weight, uh, obviously, but uh, yeah. you know, actually, I, I tore I tore my labrum and uh, <laughs> this and, was my uh, cool down. I don't know why I can yeah. get it up. I get it up like every time, so it's really weird. <laughs> just like yeah, man, yeah, it's classic, all good. Classic Happens classic to everyone. Gym, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, we got it up though, and it was good. He was he was grateful nonetheless. So it was That's it was good. nice. Good gym fam over there. You should go to that gym. Super Future Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. I can get you a free month. Oh, um, dude, I'm, that's kind of far for me, though. How far do you think it is? Where do you, Where is it? <laughs> Wyndham. North yeah, Wyndham. that's like probably forty five minutes from here. Mm, no, you should move. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I work all the way in Grafton, so I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah. Uh, uh, when Jess and I were driving to Boston um, yesterday, or two days ago, whatever it was, um, Jess saw the sign for Grafton as we were coming back, and we were only like half an hour out of Boston at that point, and she was like, Grafton? Isn't that where Jakey works? <laughs> Jakey. And I was like, yeah, I think so. And she's like, oof, that's got to be a ride. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not that close. How yeah. far is it from here? Uh, dude, you know, the Mass Pike is, is my little speedway, <laughs> so it's Fair. like, I call it the Autobahn. The Autobahn. <laughs> <laughs> so it only takes me about 33 to 35 minutes. Yeah. Um, but if you drove the speed limit or a little bit over, it'd probably be 40, 45. Mm. But it's like, uh, you get on the highway and you just go. Mm. And like I said, I, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. My car is German, so the highways are also German to me. <laughs> Therefore, the Autobahn. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, um, do you get car sick? Uh, you know, it depends. There's been times I don't, I don't often find myself in the back seat. <laughs> that's fair. That's um, fair. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, actually, any time that you drive with Jess and I, it's you and Jess. And oh, yeah, we're the back. alphas, for sure. <laughs> it's the second child syndrome. You think more that you're more important than anybody else. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. No, yeah, and then even then, like, my dad, whenever, or even my mom and my dad, they, they like, like riding in the back, so when we drive together, mm. they're always like, oh, you can have the front. Mm. And so I always sit in the front, but there's t- it depends. If I'm, like, already uh, feeling not the greatest, like, the car definitely does not help. Hmm. Um, but I don't get a, uh, I don't get su- super, and I can like, I can like read in the car. Hmm. It just depends, I guess. I get, it depends on the car too. Like if it's like bumpy the whole time, yeah. I get a little, I feel a little nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I come from a, a point of view of privilege, and I understand that because I don't get car sick, but. It's really hard for me to grasp the concept of being car sick. So it's like I almost don't believe you when you say you're car sick. Car sick, and Jess gets car sick. And I'm like, mm, are you really car sick? Did the car really do that, or do you just not feel good? <laughs> mm, I don't know. But <laughs> that's a joke. Are you car sick that. or sick of the car? Got him. Got him. I don't know. I know too. Uh, Jess and uh, Juanita both get car sick, so I guess I have to believe them. But really, like the inside it's, of me doesn't. It's like it's like not that bad when I do. Like sometimes I just have to like roll down the window a little bit and then I'm good. Yeah. But I will. I get seasick. Mm. Like that's real. Really? Oh man! Mm. If you're on a rocking boat, it's only on like smaller boats that rock. Really, like if on a cruise ship, 
I've actually never been on a cruise ship, so I don't know why I said that. But, like, on, like, a ferry or something, I don't get seasick. Like, mm-hmm. it's not, like, the ocean. It's, like, the rocking. And uh, I used to go on my friend's boat when I was younger, and we'd go fishing. Mm-hmm. And I just remember, like, if I didn't take... I used to have to wear, like, this bracelet and, like, take a pill. And really? Even, and even then, I was, like, still, like, you just, like, feel, like, nauseous. Mm. That's, like, real, though. You know what else is real? I actually started not feeling so good today. So on like flat roofs like industrial roofs um you do a core what's called a core sample so you use a core tool oh yeah core <clears throat> yep that's it you dig into the roof basically uh to see how many layers of like insulation and roofing materials are on it it's kind of like a tree when you cut it open you're like how many rings yeah how almost. many years the old the tree <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i guess yeah kind of that's yeah. about right yeah <laughs> but anyways <laughs> When you do that, uh, you use like you use membrane cleaner, which is like the strongest like cleaner uh, you could imagine to like clean off the membrane so you can get a good cut and then patch the hole that you leave and everything. And that stuff will make you sick. I felt terrible this morning and I got like two whiffs of it. So that's like, could you get like high off that? I would it's imagine. Like, is it like but one I think of those it would things, make you not or would it feel just well. like make you throw up? Probably not feel good. I don't know if you would get high. Probably though. I don't. I've never thought about it. Huh. Just one. <laughs> but I could give you, you some. some if you yeah. Want do you have some? Right. I'll bring some next time. <laughs> we get it hopped up on root so cleaner. Starts... <laughs> and then do the. Do the... Oh, membrane, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's. I remember there was a kid in college, on my hall, and he would joke around about like getting high off sharpies like way too much. <laughs> like, like I knew those kids yeah it, but it was like it was funny the first time I was like oh this guy's kind of funny and then like the next day he'd be like he'd like pull out a sharp be like hey remember this <laughs> <laughs> right that's that's funny and I'm like dude like <laughs> what and then it was like an every like like a weekly occurrence and I was like is this kid like does he, should I like help him out like is, yeah yeah does he have a problem <laughs> yeah that's tough oh, uh, I think he probably developed a severe uh, Sharpie addiction. Yeah. Speaking of college, did, have you ever wondered, like, if one of your professors was just, like, a pothead or, like, was, like, an alcoholic or just, like, on mm, drugs? You're doing something crazy like that? Because I took this art history class when I was in college. I think it was my sophomore year. And I just remember, like, the first day he walked in, this dude, one of the... Or no... It, yeah, so the first day I walked in, he was, like, he was one of those, like, dudes that was, like, you would think of, of, like, a, like a surfer bro. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, experience high tide! <laughs> like, one of those guys, <laughs> yeah. but, like, not with the surfer accent. But, like, yeah. the way he talked was, like, bro. Yeah, yeah. And so you kind of had a sense. And then he was, like, he kind of, like, went through the syllabus in, like, two minutes, and he's, like, he looked at his watch, and he's, like, I think it's about time we end it there and i was like <laughs> i was like is this is a college class like i mean it's art history but like what? yeah and then i think it was like the third or fourth class mm. he just we're all waiting there it's he's like two minutes late and we're like and then we just hear this faint noise it's like as it gets closer you, it's like you can hear it. it's like a cello or no mm. not cello that's the big one right violin there's a violin okay you hear this violin and he just he just walks around the corner and he's like He's, like, playing this violin, and I'm like, what's going on? And then, like, he goes in the middle, he sits down, and then he just, like, rips out this whole song on the violin. Hmm. And then, like, after, like, five minutes of playing, he, like, he stops, and he's like, all right, that's the day. <laughs> and then we were, like, everybody was like, what? Like, this is art history, not music. Yeah. So then I just always thought that this dude was, like, he was a bro. Yeah. So, like, after that, I was like, yo, this this class is kind of a joke. So I skipped every class. And the only grades were uh, this a midterm mm-hmm. and then the final. Mm-hmm. And so I, I, like, did decent on the midterm, even though I never went to class because I just got notes from um, my, my buddy who was in the class. But uh, I remember... I had all these other finals, and I'm like, this is my sophomore year, so like I'm starting to get in my core classes. You know? Yeah, yeah. So I finished up most of my my um, what do they call it? electives, right? 
or no, you're a gen eds. Yeah, 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 the gen eds. So I I finished those up my freshman year, and then I was into like my business classes. So like I had like some decently hard final projects to take care of. So like art history is like in the back of my head, mm. you know. And then my buddy texts me, he's like, "Dude, did you study for this art history exam?" And I was like, "Oh no." Yeah. So I took it, dude. And that was like the first time I was in the class since the midterm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So I didn't do too hot. Let's just say that. I'm sure. But I did well enough to where I got a seven. So in, at Liberty, it was like out of a thousand points. So like that's where your grade was. So I had a 795. So I had a C. Mm. It's a C. It's a C. It is a C. Yeah. Uh, you have to get 800 to get a B. B minus? They don't yeah, do well, B minus. No, okay. B minus is 800 to 825 or ah, I see. So, I, like, have a C, and I'm like, dude, I can't, like... I mean, I wasn't, like, the smartest guy, but, like, I got all Bs and As. Mm-hmm. And, like, especially with, like, classes. I think I had... Other, I think I had two Cs my whole college career. <clears throat> but, uh, this, this test grade was so low that it brought me to a 795. And so I was so like, close. oh man, and this is like the end of the year. This wasn't like, we, it wasn't like we were going into the second semester or anything. This is like, this is May. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh man, like, so I like email my, this dude and I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, can you like give me a, like an extra credit assignment so I can at least get me up to like five, I just need five points. Mm. And this dude is like, he's like, you know what, man? Like, just give me a 300 word paragraph on what art means to you. <laughs> and I'm like I'm like oh, okay so I wrote this thing in probably three minutes I bet yeah and I just typed it all out I, I waited for like a couple hours to submit it so I didn't feel like you know mm-hmm. so I submitted it and uh, I'm like alright like, I, like I, I can sleep sound knowing that it at least got a B like mm-hmm. he's gonna give me five points yeah I, like he understood that's why I was asking so he's you know Dude, I log on to get, like, my final grades. Mm. I got an A in the class. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bro, she gave me 105 extra credit points. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Dude, I was, I, like, well, I was, like, dude, I, I friended him on Facebook. I bet, yeah. I was, like, I found him on Facebook. I found, and I friended him, and we're still friends to this day. You should have bought him a gift card. My goodness, dude! He, Talk about a softball. What a guy, dude! What a guy! I'll tell you, I I attended four classes the whole year, studied for a maximum of twenty minutes, and got an A in the class. I'm borderline mad. Not gonna lie. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, it's art history. It wasn't yeah, like you yeah. know intro to that too. marketing or yeah, whatever. That's true. But uh, it was. I was just. I was like, this dude is the bro. But I always wondered. I was like, is this guy like? Is he high? Like, funny how that's where we started. And yeah, like, I know. <laughs> because that's not where it was going. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just always wondered. Like, that's what I, I thought about it. Cause I was like, just the way that he would walk in with like a violin and like just be like, I think this is it. <laughs> like, good enough for me, kids. Yeah. It was just like, man, like what, what's going through this guy's head? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Good. For, what a guy, though. You know, I would die for him. That's that's fair. I would die for him. I really wish I went to. A, somewhere more prestigious or I wish I could have not that I had the choice at all out of high school yeah. <laughs> but I wish I went to like a better school you know like and Central was great with the friends and everything uh, and the experience but I really wish I went somewhere else just to I don't know just to have it have a Yale University alumni that'd be pretty something sweet like that that would be dope I thought about but then I was I wasn't you know you knew me in high school I wasn't very much of the academic type. Yeah, I wasn't either. I tried, but I you just were, didn't do that well. You you like tried hard though. Mm-hmm. You were good at that. You were you put the effort. You did your homework. I did. Yeah. I did. I did pretty well in college for the most part, but uh, high school I just there were a few classes I didn't do well enough in. Yeah. Um, it would be cool to go to like yeah like have like a Yale or a Harvard or that'd be sick. Something yeah. like that. Could you go back? Like, will your work pay for? A master's program or something? They actually, I think they give me $1,000 per semester after I've been working there for a year, which would be in I mean, that's, that's nice. I've them, actually thought it's about still not a lot of the, Yeah. Well, what would you do, do it in, do you think? I'd probably get my MBA. Yeah. 
I thought about that. I thought about actually maybe going to like seminary. That's cool. And like learning a little bit more about you know theology and Mm. and stuff like that. I thought I think that'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. Yeah. Just to learn more. But then I'm like, do I really want a school? (laughs) Yeah. See, I miss that. I loved I loved college. Like the assignments. Oh, I I loved college, bro. Like. Well, yeah. <laughs> freaking party, but just kidding. I didn't really didn't party. In yeah, no, you weren't I went like to that. A, yeah, but uh, I did like like hanging out with the boys. Mm. It was all like just the, all the time, like not just Saturday, mm. but like Monday through Sunday That's were true. for the boys. I don't know. I just I really missed like living that life, like the the life of academia. You know, <laughs> the, <laughs> where you the ye old academia. <laughs> Where you go to class and do your home like my classes were really challenging, yeah, like you were, with the you were like pre med, right? Yeah, so I had yeah, I was business. <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw too much shade, but yeah, uh, but definitely was... a little bit different. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's a lot different. It's alright, you can say it. <laughs> psychological sciences, and then I had minors in biomolecular sciences and chemistry. So it was pretty hard. Um, even though it was just a state school. So I can't even imagine, like, Yale or Harvard. But, like, I miss that. Like, going to class, doing my, you know, my homework and everything. It was just, I don't know. I really enjoyed that. So Good I miss that a lot, but... <clears throat> I don't miss that at all. Really? I would skip classes constantly. I, I did my work. Like I said, I got yeah, all you did well, so, I mean... Well, I know. did well, but, I, like, again, in business school, man, like... Most of the stuff... In business, like... Here's the thing. In business, you... There's no, like, right answer. Yeah, like that's true. Every <laughs> that's business, you know what I mean. I never thought about it. Whereas, yeah. like pre med is like if you don't get the right answer, death. Yeah. <laughs> so like that's tough. Whereas like mine is like, what do you think? Uh, why do you think Nike was so successful? Explain in three paragraphs, and then I would just be like, Yo, it's cool. Phil Knight the goat. Uh, yeah. Uh, a plus. Check mark is cool. <laughs> Hey, you know, I mean, there was, I mean, yeah, it yeah. took a time to like do stuff, Yeah. but it wasn't like hard, you really? know what I mean? I mean like, a ca- oh, so like finance classes were hard mm. because mm. you had, like you had, there was, there was a right answer for like that stuff. That's, had, I took my macro and microeconomics and those were pretty challenging. Yeah. Economics. Uh, I had to take a, I had to take a corporate finance class where like you learn about basically doing the finances for like a large corporation mm. it was cool i was good at finance because number i'm pretty good with numbers um that was yeah. cool stuff but like especially my so my my focus was marketing mm-hmm. so marketing is like whatever you want to make it so many companies mm. have been successful in every which way and they, yeah it's always changing anyway with it's like true. the culture and everything, like we talked about with the the Twitter ads, like I was just thinking about you know that, what like I mean? Radio Shack. Yeah, <laughs> like like that's their marketing team has like evolved into that, and it's mm. working for them. You know, like we're laughing and talking about it right now. You yeah, know? exactly. So, like, so yeah, like it works. It all changes. So like to have a class about marketing is like it's just all opinion based. As long as you put the effort in, you're gonna mm. get a good grade. Yeah, that's that's a fair point actually. It's a good point. I don't know. I I don't know. I just miss that life, like being affiliated with the university and learning and everything. I actually, if I didn't, if I wasn't going to be a doctor, I wanted to be a professor in like probably probably psychology or biology. I was never really all that great at chemistry or physics. Professor uh, Hefe. I know. Be sweet. El Hefe. Look at me now. Look at, <laughs> look at me now, baby. Oh, you never know. Maybe we'll go Huffing some school. membrane. Huffing some membrane <laughs> out in Plainfield on some industrial roof. <laughs> Living uh, the dream, baby. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, uh, that's okay, though. Uh, uh, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, man. So, do you want to take it home there? I think that's, uh, I think that's a good spot. All right. <clears throat> How you okay, feeling? Cool. You feeling good? I'm good. So, guys, please... Rate and subscribe uh, to the podcast. Really helps us if you could just throw us five stars on Spotify and Apple Podcasts real quick. That would be amazing. Really would help us reach more people. Like we said last time, uh, we've been really happy with the support so far. It's been awesome. Um, please rate and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at How I Met My Brother Pod. And then you can email us any funny stories or questions or anything you would want to hear about on the pod. Uh, email us at How I Met My Brother Pod at gmail.com or you could send us a DM or something Uh, and that's it so that's where to find us yeah I like it alright we'll see you guys next week